Hi, in this I will be showing you how to use this onion crawler. What it does is it fetches the pages from dark web and then it uses some algorithms like counting the words and finding TIF IDF so that later on that data can be used for search engine. So I will be showing you data also and the basic setup that you will be need to run this. So starting I will be showing you how to connect to dark web using request because I am using Scrappy for this one and Scrappy has a problem that you will be facing which I will be showing you how to get through this so if you are using request library what you have to simply do is put these proxies in your session and in this way this SOX 5H because we will be using SOX 5 proxy and here uh, this localhost 9150 is basically my IP address which uh, because I am using it locally and 9509150 is the port on which my tor is running so yeah so one thing i want to share with you is that when you are scro scrapping data from onion website you can't be opening them in normal browser you know that so because of this reason i know i need tor proxy so to get tor proxy what i am doing here is i am running this tor browser basically i don't need tor browser here i only need to run tor proxy but uh, for you uh, for your convenience what you can do is simply download the tor browser and run it because it's running tor proxy in uh, in the back so we can see here that i'm running this tor browser here and i'm getting this tor.exe also run along with it so it has opened those tor, tor port for me so and after this initial setup now you are having tor proxy but you are not having it in your uh, regular browser like only only our onion only our tor browser is configured to use this that tor proxy so i will be showing you how to configure it for firefox what you have to be doing is go to your options scroll down bottom to network and and here you have to select manual proxy configuration here put your local host and the port 8181 i will be telling you why we are doing this because i told you i am not going to use http proxy but i need only socks 5 proxy here and in this 9150 port you have to test it you have to be finding that on which port your tor is running your tor proxy is running on which port in my case it's 9150 in your case it might be 91519050 mostly these two are the highest values which are used so you just configure it for this uh, i'm not con i haven't configured it yet because i want to show you something and after you have done this uh, basic setting then you need to do what is before doing that actually um, i want to show you yeah so let's discuss about the problem with scrappy so i i'm uh, if you are using request library it's all done once you have once you are running your with your tor proxy you can simply put this here this proxy here and request will be able to make use of it now you can run this script and it will fetch this onion url it, will, it won't be having any issue it will be using uh, your sox5 proxy but the problem starts when we are using scrappy because scrappy is not configured to use sox5 proxy and because of this reason we have to be tunneling it SOX5 proxy through HTTP so HTTP or HTTPS so that these spiders uh, in the in our scrappy project can make use of that proxy so you will have to be doing some manual setup in scrappy that I will show you um, and because of this reason only uh, to set up that Tor proxy for scrappy project I have to be doing some port forwarding that I just told you that I have to be telling that SOX5 proxy to my HTTP proxy so I find a way of doing that uh, by using this PP proxy library this is basically a cheat sheet that I have made you can get it from here and so what you have to be doing is install this requirement this is PP proxy it will be telling your SOX5 proxy which is running on this 9150 local host and it will tunnel it through 8181 which basically we will be using now we won't be using this proxy anywhere in scrappy but this proxy will be using so once you have installed it now we have to be running this so you go here and run it 
so yeah so it's running over here now so now you can do is uh, you can check if you this is the site check dot tor project dot org this basically tells that if you are uh, if your I, the ip address with which you are visiting is a tor ip or not so click here uh, visit it and if it shows that yes you are connected then it means you are done but here it's not done and why because i haven't set up it from settings so you will be getting this only initially and this is my ip so go here set up this manual proxy uh, see these settings if you you may be need a little twitch over here and yeah this is the setting just see what port you are running on and maybe you are doing mistake in here only so when i click ok now what happening is my browser my firefox browser is configured to use this tor proxy and now i refresh it i will be getting a green here and yeah i'm getting a green here so let me click an ip quickly uh, you don't need to do it i'm just what i'm doing is i'll be telling in a minute where are my spiders drl yeah yeah so now i'm running this on my firefox browser and it will be opening in firefox also as you may know that people will be telling you you need tor browser to run an onion sites that's not the case you only need tor proxy that is the only requirement but tor browser is advised because there are some reasons like it will be turning off your javascript on its own like there are so many settings here and it will be handling a lot so you should be using that only for surfing but i'm just showing you that now we can even open tor pages here so my net has my net is already slow and because i'm using this tor proxy it has gone wild so yeah it will load one day but it will uh, there may be manual settings also that you have to be doing from about config if you want to run tor if you want to run your tor onion links in your firefox and i have already done that and you don't need that because you are not going this tutorial is not meant for running onion sites on your firefox browser so let's close that so our to firefox is configured this is a one way now similar to this i have to be configuring my tor browser uh, just like i configured my firefox browser i have to be configure my scrappy to use that tor proxy so let's do that but not here because that will get very confusing confusing for you what i will be showing you is uh, this cheat sheet that i have made what you have to be doing is basically in your spider this is basic spider i am using a onion link here right and this domain is also onion a lot domains onion now it will be scrapping on only onion domains because i don't want my scrapper to like go wild and scrap dot com sites etc because that's normal thing that every other scrapper can do do without proxy also so this is just uh, this is the settings file so in this settings file what you do is you copy paste this thing okay what what is saying is user user agent list like i'm showing that i'm using this browser browser you may know it and this is http proxy uh, 8123 port that's the port i have used in my uh, command no mm yeah uh, i have changed it actually if you are running your pp proxy on 8123 then use it 8123 i am using 8181 so i will be using 8181 and these are the download the middlewares uh, so these middlewares this is settings.py file where we are linking our middlewares these three middlewares are present in my middlewares.py file uh, which is also already there in scrappy project and here you can see that i am having them over here import random import scrappy from scrappy import settings and here class random random user agent middleware so i will be using randomly from them and this is basically just configuring the user agent and this is class proxy middleware what is done doing here is it's basically putting every proxy uh, like it's giving proxy from here uh to my every request that will be going from my scrappy project and one more thing uh this aliexpress is the name of your project so like if my project name over here